Let's talk about mezcal and the beautiful people that make this amazing spirit. In this series, we're gonna be highlighting the amazing mezcaleros from Michoacan. And let's talk about Don Isidro Rodriguez Montoya. So Don Isidro makes mezcal since he was 19 years old. He's a first generation mezcalero and he makes it in the small town of Rio de Paras in the state of Michoacan. And it's one of those towns that everything revolves around mezcal. You're either making mezcal, you're helping make mezcal, or you're growing agave for mezcal. A lot of the times, all of those. Don Isidro Rodriguez only works with the Alto Agave. This is the Inakidens, which is endemic to Michoacan. And one of the things that really differentiate the mezcales from this region to anywhere else in Mexico, really, is that they use pulque in the fermentation process. Don Isidro cooks his agaves in an underground pit. He then mills the agaves by hand in a wooden canoe. And like we said before, he adds pulque to the fermentation and then double distills it in the Michoacan style Filipino stills. He's really known for his pechugas. He has a pechuga that's made with trout. He also has one with lobster that's supposed to be amazing. I haven't had it yet. And one of the things that for me really sets Don Isidro Rodriguez apart is the notes of his mezcal. It tastes like watermelon rind. You know that white part of the watermelon? If you have some of his mezcal, I guarantee you that's what you're going to pick up right away. It's produced a couple of expressions for Malbien, which is always awesome to see. A much harder to find Mar de Fuego, and he has his own brand as well called El Trancaso. So if you see Don Isidro's name in a bottle, make sure you buy that bottle. Salucita. 